Well, the other day I purchased this Socket 370 motherboard. Later I found out that it can only support Celeron chips, which is a bummer because I was intending to do a Pentium 3 build with this. But then that got me thinking, what if you could overclock the CPU and get Pentium 2 performance on a Celeron? Let's find out if that's possible. Well, the first order of business is to install a Celeron CPU. I'm just going to install the fastest one I have on hand at the moment, which is a Celeron 433. And we are going to need a pretty beefy cooler if we want to overclock this. I'm just using a Socket A cooler here. It is compatible with Socket 370. It may not be ideal and may be a bit overkill, but I just want to make sure it stays really cool. But before we actually overclock it, let's talk about what overclocking even means. Basically, your front side bus speed is multiplied by the multiplying factor of your CPU. Now, if your front side bus speed is 100 and your multiplier is 4, the CPU will run at 400 megahertz. But you can actually increase these values and this is how overclocking works. So let's just say you increase your multiplier from 4 to 5.5 and you change your front side bus speed from 66 to 100. Now our CPU will run faster than originally intended at 550 megahertz. But sometimes, depending on your motherboard, you can't change the multiplier, so you can only increase the front side bus speed. But even then still, you can get a pretty decent overclock in some cases. Just a little warning though, if you run your front side bus speed any higher than 100 megahertz, your AGP port will become overclocked too. This can fry some video cards like a Voodoo 3, so make sure the video card you're using isn't too valuable and at least make sure that it can support the extra voltage. So let's try this out. What I'm going to do is set the front side bus speed to be 83 megahertz. I found this is the maximum I can push this CPU and it just won't reach 100. I'm going to leave the multiplier as is since I'm pretty sure this CPU has a locked one. And there we go, 541 megahertz. This isn't what overclocking looks like on all motherboards though, as you can see here. On this motherboard, all the overclocking is controlled through the BIOS and there's no jumpers needing to be changed. And there's also a lot more flexibility and you can push the CPUs you put in this much further. But we won't be using this board today, as I feel it's kind of cheating, since it's almost too good for something like a little Celeron. So we're just going to stick to our VIA chipset board, that can only support those Celerons. Anyway, back to our Celeron motherboard. What I'm now going to do is benchmark it, and then I'm also going to do some more benchmarks later. This will let me determine if it really is performing as well as a Pentium 2 if not better. And yeah, so that's what I'm doing here, just benchmarking that overclock Celeron to see how well it will work. Now that that's out of the way, we need to set up a Pentium 2 system that we can also benchmark to see if our Celeron processor really is faster. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just using a standard slot 1 board with a Pentium 2 400 and I'm going to do the same benchmarking procedure on this. Well, the results are in. As you can see here, the original stock Celeron 433 only scored at 27.9 within CPU Bench 99. Next up, you have the Pentium 2 400, which managed to score 31.5. But this is what actually surprised me. The Celeron clocked at 541 MHz beat the Pentium 2. So I guess they maybe are a bit more than celery these old Celerons. It sure beat this Pentium 2 by a little and not even just by half a point, like a whole couple of points. So I suppose you really can use a Celeron CPU 
that's overclocked instead of a Pentium 2 if you're on a tight budget to build a vintage machine. I originally used Celerons and honestly I didn't have much trouble with them but this overclocked Celeron competes with even a really high end Pentium 2 400. I've also thrown in a Pentium 3 500 just for comparison and as you can see here it is definitely worthwhile going the Pentium route if you're looking for that extra boost of performance. You could probably overclock a Pentium 3 500 all the way to about 800 megahertz with the right model of CPU and achieve way better performance. But even stock, it performs way better than the Celeron and it has a lower clock speed. So I guess it's true. You can overclock a Celeron CPU and have it faster than a Pentium 3. The most shocking part about all of this is that the front side bus speed on the Celeron CPU was lower than the Pentium 3, yet still managed to outperform it. I found that quite amusing. Anyway, that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this brief overclocking lesson and I'll see you next time.